What's up everyone? Today I'm going to be driving the entire Las Vegas Strip starting from downtown Las Vegas. Today's date is Tuesday, July 18th, 2023. Temperature is 100 degrees Fahrenheit, 37 Celsius. And the time right now is 10.30 p.m. This is the well-known Fremont Street here in downtown Las Vegas. A block ahead of me is the start of the Fremont Street experience. This is what many people will, con will consider the original Las Vegas. This was the Las Vegas Strip before the Strip even existed. But it's got all the old school casinos like the Golden Nugget and the Golden Gate Casino. It's well worth taking a walk inside the Fremont Street experience. There's an overhead LED ceiling which has different videos and animations all throughout the entire stretch which is about three blocks long. It's filled with entertainment options and it's a much different vibe than the Las Vegas Strip which you'll be seeing uh, fairly shortly. I'm about to make a left turn here on Las Vegas Boulevard, which encompasses the entire Las Vegas Strip. Most of the Las Vegas Strip is actually in paradise, not in the city of Las Vegas. Do have to be careful here as there are a lot of pedestrians and uh, looks like there's two emergency vehicles here right now that big uh, tower in front of me that you see that's the Strat Casino and Hotel what many people consider to be the start of the Las Vegas Strip Las Vegas is always changing and as we drive through the strip we're going to see some casinos under construction and new features being added This area between downtown and the Strat can be a little bit seedy at times. Even starting from the Strat for a few blocks, it can be a little bit seedy. Many influencers have called it Stab City, but I don't really feel that it's that bad. It's gotten a lot better in recent times. There's a Graceland wedding chapel to the left. I know a lot of people come here just to get married in Las Vegas as a big business and they can uh, help make that happen even on short notice. Here's another wedding uh, place, Bliss Wedding Chapel. I 
I think the Strat Casino itself is still within the city of Las Vegas, but just beyond it, a few feet starts paradise. It's debatable whether the Strat itself is within the Las Vegas Strip or not. But I still consider it part of the Strip since it's a big casino. Another wedding chapel here. There's a sign here, it says, welcome to Las Vegas, drive safely. This area to my left has been under construction for many months, but it's uh, good to see it finished. Although, to be honest, I'm looking over to my left, I see a lot of litter in here already. There's like an old mattress, discarded bottle, so it's not really being upkept the way it should be. As we get closer to the Strat, you're going to see a lot of things change here. There's going to be more bright lights and activity in general. It's a big sign in front of us it says the city of las vegas thanks you that's the official um, border between las vegas and paradise and this sign here is right within the boundaries of the strat as you can see There's a smaller casino, the Aztec Inn Casino. The biggest one after here is the Sahara Casino, saying the strip starts here. Usually um, when people define the strip, it's either to the Sahara Casino or to the Strat here. The Strat actually offers a uh, observation deck that is pretty nice to go up and look. And this area here can be classified as Stab City as well. But to be honest, it doesn't really look half that bad. Sahara Casino to my left. It's a uh, desert themed in there. As if Las Vegas isn't enough of a desert. There's other casinos along the strip too that are themed, such as Paris, Paris, the Venetian, and New York, New York.
they're made to resemble the cities for which it is themed after. In front of Paris, Paris, you'll see a big Eiffel Tower. New York, New York, you'll see a mock Brooklyn Bridge and M Empire State Building. It's pretty neat. There's a big Hilton Hotel here on the right hand side. That uh, LED to the right is the Circus Circus Casino. One of the older casinos in the uh, strip here, but it's one of the few that still offers free parking. All the casinos used to offer free parking, but they're clamping down on all the available options. I know the Venetian has free parking, but they recently announced that they're going to start charging for parking sometime before the end of the summer. I just went into the Venetian and took advantage of the last few days or weeks of free parking. Circus Circus, as you can imagine, is themed after a circus. To my left there, you can see the new sphere that was built. It's a new concert uh, venue, it's supposed to be the largest in the world. You have Resorts World to my right, which is my favorite casino. I think it's one of the newest ones that was built. It still might be the newest, but it's pretty big. It's got a lot of um, food options also. To the left here, you have the Encore and the Wind Casino. Fancy casinos. I love their lobby. To the left here, there's a great taco place, Tacos El Gordo. I ate there before and it's amazing. You have to get the Tacos Alpa store. One of the things that people don't realize about the Las Vegas Strip is that it's pretty long. I did a video walking the entire Las Vegas Strip on both sides, visiting every casino, and it took me over five hours to do. I don't recommend anyone to do that, but there's a lot to see here in Las Vegas, and if you really want to experience everything, you have to spend more time here. Don't uh, push it like I did and try to get everything. I was able to go into the lobby of every casino or hotel and show it off a little bit. To the left there, you can see the Venetian and the Palazzo. I think the Palazzo is the hotel for the Venetian, but inside it's really themed like Italy and Venice. They even have multiple Italian restaurants in there and gondola rides, inside and outside gondola rides. It's pretty neat. I don't know what they're building here to the right, but it's a big project. Got the Wynn Casino to my left. Very high end casino. This fashion show um, building is really nice too. They got a lot of shops inside. Now, here is what the first of many pedestrian bridges that we'll see on the strip. Uh, they built these because they didn't want people walking across the street, jaywalking, possibly drunk drunk drivers so they built these pedestrian bridges to uh, make it safer for everybody.
they don't really make it convenient to cross the street because you have to go up and over, but it helps save lives. Here's Spring Mountain Road. If you turn off right here, you'll hit Las Vegas Chinatown with great uh, eateries. I experienced a few of them myself. Here's Treasure Island, a pirate themed casino. And they're the one of the few that still offer free parking. In fact, they're advertising it because free parking is getting hard to come by now on the strip. And to the right here is the Mirage. It used to be MGM, but it got bought out by the Seminole Native Americans of Florida. They're going to be turning it into the Hard Rock Casino. But the uh, Mirage is really known for its uh, nightly volcano shows. I think it starts at 7 p.m. and they end at 10 or 11 p.m. And if you want to see that show before they turn into the Hard Rock, now's your time to see it before they uh, convert it and get rid of that feature. I know a lot of people are going to be missing the Mirage, but the Mirage inside is kind of tropical and desert themed as well. Hence being a Mirage. And I guess it will be a mirage because it's going to be converted into something else, unfortunately. So the left is also part of the Venetian, an impressive entrance there. You can even see the gondola rides, which are operated outdoors. Both the outdoor and the indoor gondola rides are pretty much the same length, but they don't overlap routes. You can only pick one or the other. There's Madame Tussauds to my left of Las Vegas, but you can see a Madame Tussauds anywhere. I wouldn't recommend you go here. You got White Castle here. There's Harris Casino. Caesars Palace is coming up, which is known for the forum shops and uh, themed in a European medieval style. It's really cool. Here's the link. I think um, past the link, you can act, you can actually um, go on the Las Vegas Ferris wheel. I wrote it before. Yeah, this is where the uh, Ferris wheel is to my left. There's also um, an entrance here. There's also an entrance here for Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville. Got Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen to the right. Celebrity Chef Restaurant. There's a few of them around here on the strip. I'm not really familiar with all of them. You got the Flamingo Casino to my left. It's a rather small one, but I think it's one of the first ones to appear on the strip here.
Oh, look to the right. That's the Bellagio Fountain. They're playing the uh, water fountain show that happens uh, every few minutes, I think. Or every, I forget what time interval, interval it is, but it's impressive to see. You have Paris, Paris Casino to my left. You have the Eiffel Tower, mock Eiffel Tower to my left as well. The Bellagio is actually one of my favorite uh, casinos. Inside, they have a exhibit in their atrium, which changes five times a year. For one for each season and another one for the uh, Lunar New Year. Planet Hollywood is to my left. It's a good casino to go to if you want some uh, cheap eats and souvenirs. They tend to be a lot less um, high priced compared to the other casinos. Here's the Aria. There's a casino here, which I think um, is called the Horseshoe now. I forget which one it is, but that's new as well. I may have passed it already, so I'm not exactly too sure. As you can see, traffic on the Las Vegas Strip can get pretty backed up. And rightfully so, because it's so popular. Where's that emergency vehicle coming from? Left or right? Can't tell. Oh, it's coming from the side street. It passed us now. This section of the strip is actually pretty quiet compared to the other parts. I would say the center of the strip is where Paris, Paris and the Bellagio are. We're coming up on a few MGM uh, owned casinos. Here's Park MGM, which I think is one of the few non-smoking casinos on the Las Vegas Strip. So if that's a big concern for you, you can go inside the Park MGM. Um, there's New York, New York, which is the New York City themed casino. And then you have the MGM Grand to my left. If you look hard enough, you can see a Chrysler building, a mock Chrysler building. A 
I like the giant Coca-Cola bottle for the MGM Grand. Also, when a lot of sporting events like boxing come to Las Vegas, they're held at the MGM Grand. There's a fake Statue of Liberty there and Brooklyn Bridge. But there's still more of the uh, Las Vegas Strip to see. Past New York, New York to my right is the Excalibur Casino, which is a medieval themed casino with knights in shining armor. You got Tropicana to my left. And uh, there's the Luxor past Excalibur, which is Egyptian themed. I don't think these uh, casinos really get as much um, activity as the other ones further up on the strip. And then past the uh, Luxor is Mandalay Bay, which uh, is often considered to be the first casino on the Las Vegas Strip coming from the south. And although that um, may be the first casino, I don't really consider that to be the beginning of the Las Vegas Strip. That will be, that will be for me, the welcome to fabulous Las Vegas sign where uh, many people take their selfies with. And there's often a long line to take a selfie there, but I think I want one this time. I didn't take one the last time I was here, so I'm going to uh, stop by the parking lot and get a quick, quick photo before I turn around. It's actually quite a uh, ride to get to the Las Vegas sign and, I, and in a heat wave like this, um, it may be difficult to walk. There's actually a cool uh, pinball museum to my left somewhere. I forget exactly where. If I see it, I'll let you know. There's a big McDonald's here. Here's the Mandalay Bay Convention Center. Not too sure how the rooms are at this motel here in my left. Oh, there's the pinball uh, museum. It's past the trees there to my left if you can make it out. Hall of Fame pinball and um, the Las Vegas sign is coming up soon it says here uh, welcome the Las Vegas sign parking straight ahead I think I turn here for the, uh, the parking for the sign here There's still a little bit of a group here to get pictures. There's also a uh, professional photographer here that offers to take pictures for you and sells you for it. So if you don't want that, just be aware. Let's see if I can even get parking here now. Someone's taking the accessible um, space.
these people leaving? No, I think there's more parking down there. Is this a parking space? Yes, it is. Okay, I'll get back to you once I take pictures here. Maybe I'll even give you a video to show you. So as you can see here, the sign is still quite popular despite it being 11 o'clock p.m. Although I've seen it a lot longer during midday. And uh, you don't have to wait in this line if you don't want to. You can stand off to the side like they are and get some pictures too. But it's actually not too bad tonight. Okay, I'm going to make my way over to the MGM Signature, where I am staying. I will need to make a U-turn at some point. There's a little bit of a tricky turn since they're coming off at an angle. Oh, U-turn is here. They're also doing construction down here as well. There's the sign, welcome to fabulous Las Vegas. And the start of the Las Vegas Strip, or the end depending on which direction you're coming from. A lot more people uh, came by due to a tour bus dropping people off. Here's the Pinball Hall of Fame. There's another wedding chapel over to my right, the Little Church of the West. Weddings are big business here in Las Vegas. They need their sign fixed. It just says Mick D. this sweet wonder who 
who's traveling discreetly. This view of the strip, you can see uh, Excalibur, New York, New York, and MGM all in one shot. soon. I think it's this block coming up. Harmon Avenue. This is Harmon, right turn lane. It 
is getting confusing with a lot of the construction they've been doing here. It's like a complete maze and it's even harder at nighttime to navigate around here. Had I known about all this construction prior to booking my stay at the MGM Signature, I maybe would have reconsidered booking somewhere else. insert the room card we do this for security reasons oh, I guess I didn't need to the security guard just let me through Staying here at Tower 2. Despite all the construction issues, it's actually a pretty nice place to stay. And since there is a lineup to get in here, I think I'm going to wrap up my video here. It's been a pleasure driving the Las Vegas Strip for you all. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone. Take care.